So thank you for inviting me. My name is Barbara Seliger. I'm a digestive and endocrine surgeon specialized in Germany and are currently working in France and recently joined the American College as an international fellow. I was gifted actually an LP back uh, when I was a child, uh, which was Sergei Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. Um, many people might know it. It's one of the most uh, famous classical pieces. Um, it's a ch children's tale and uh, the different characters are being represented by various instruments in the orchestra. So the orchestra sort of illustrates the tale and the instrument I loved most was the clarinet, which represents the cat. So uh, I had in my head to want to learn the clarinet. <laughs> and then I had to wait because I was way too young and my lungs needed to grow. And so when I was finally old enough to start the clarinet 35 years ago, um, then I played in music school and um, learning not only from my teacher, but also in, in various combinations of musicians from two to four chamber music um, participants, as well as in, in bigger orchestras and uh, big bands and symphony. So that, that was very uh, diverse and uh, a lot of fun. In those uh, music school years, students used to learn and interact at different levels of expertise. And uh, we also had uh, annual competitions, so regional and national prizes uh, were awarded to those who played in front of a jury and in front of an audience. So you learn to perform in front of everyone watching and giving you sometimes hard feedback. And uh, this, this was necessary to climb the ladder towards like, more advanced orchestras, playing with semi-professionals and with professional levels. Um, this is much like in, in surgery and this also got me into international um, bands like the European Union Youth Wind Orchestra back when I was younger or now the, the World Doctors Orchestra. The World Doctors Orchestra is made up of many musicians from all over the world. Uh, it's based on the beautiful idea to combine not only the pleasure of playing music but also for a good cause, for a charity. Uh, so it was founded in uh, 2008 and since the inaugural concert, which took place in the Berlin Philharmonie, there was over a million euros raised for um, medical aid organizations. So the purpose is really to raise global awareness, make healthcare available to everyone as a basic human right and precondition for human development. and crossing any national borders or political economic interests which still limit access to, to health care. During the, the decade uh, that the orchestra exists, many more musicians joined from all over the country so that uh, we're now over 1200 physicians and a group of, of each of those is always um, applying for one of the three sessions each year and every time the orchestra has a, a little different uh, setup of people but you, you always meet your friends from 50 different countries. Uh, I love the collaborative environment so um, that that's also why I picked surgery uh, as a field because in, in both fields you need a team and each individual prepares their part, each one knows their part and then contributes to something bigger which every individual on their own could not achieve. So um, every individual effort contributes to really something bigger together and you can only there extend your capacities. So imagine a, a symphony like you're, you're seeing on the pictures in the background, uh, big ones with over 120 musicians on the stage and uh, two choirs being added to that for a Mahler symphony. That's nothing you or me could achieve alone. So um, this is almost like in, in complex surgery where you need a multidisciplinary team, even in the OR with a good anesthesiologist, the nurses, every staff being involved. So um, this, this is something I love about both fields. And, and it's very personal if, if you observe the, the team dynamics. So you, you grow fond of uh, your partners over time and you learn to appreciate the, the trust in each other. 
And um, so some moments that continue to amaze me both in music as in, in surgery is sinking your mind. So you don't need to explain the next step being played or the character of the play or also how you how you work when operating, where to focus and uh, how to assist and perform. So uh, this is a feeling it's like playing with four or even more hands. Um, and, and this trust and connection is really something uh, amazing. Even if we think we're, we're the greatest as surgeons and that's all you need in life, um, it's still just a tiny part of being human. Um, so we take a lot of care about our technical skills. We put a lot of effort into perfectioning them. But um, this is the same in music. But in music, it's probably even more clear that you have to be um, an emotional being that you have to be in constant contact with who you're playing with and the audience you're playing for. And so similarly um, to the surgical profession, this, this hobby of playing orchestra music and giving concerts promotes growth on, on really many levels, um, playing complex symphonies. Um, yeah, it, it requires to listen, to adapt, to trust a big attention to detail and uh, constant self-improvement. And uh, then the best part is that you have uh, wonderful friendships, uh, just like in surgery when you work closely together. We need a wake up call every now and then to, to get back to um, who am I? What is my passion? What do I enjoy in life? So sometimes the daily routines just take over and you think you don't have time. And so sometimes it just requires a reorganization. So there was every now and then there was always a time where for a couple of months I didn't play and then, oh, it needs so much time to, to get back onto the level I know I had. And, and this is a resistance to, to even start again. But then you talk to a friend, you exchange about uh, what you enjoy or even this preparing for, for this talk. Um, has gotten me into memories of, of all the experiences there. And then I'm suddenly way more motivated to, uh, to play music again and, and to arrange uh, new projects. So I think these, uh, these wake up call moments are, are really key and exchanges uh, with friends and not just get submerged in, in routines. Um, and, and we know we've chosen a profession that is very challenging. So uh, remind ourselves that we chose this challenge and that we can always cope with it.